Right. If you like a good scare, there's a movie this weekend that you might want to see. For me, just the previews have been enough. But, <laughs> scare the bejesus out of me. There's an old lady in a creepy house and someone flying against a wall, and I don't like it. But when you think about it, Leo Smith is joining us here on the couch. When you think about it, Helen Mirren and Hard you don't really think about no. that And together. usually she makes good choices, right. so it might be something worth checking out because the fact of the matter is you can't always believe what you see. Oh. Let's take a look at Winchester. Do you believe in ghosts, Dr. Price? I do not believe in anything I cannot see or study. Well, he's about to get more than he bargained for. Sarah Winchester is heir to the family fortune made famous by their legendary firearms. And since that makes her ultimately responsible for so many deaths, she believes she is cursed. Others just think she's crazy. But her mental state is not her place to judge. That's the responsibility of Dr. Price. He was appointed to spend a week at her estate and evaluate her sanity. It's a tad hypocritical considering his dependence on laudanum. However, he has visited the other side before, so his spiritual connections may be stronger than most. Either way, the home's random design would be enough to drive anyone mad. It's gargantuan seven-storied structure with no apparent rhyme or reason. Built on the orders of a grieving widow. Yes, it looks like something straight from an M.C. Escher drawing, only more confusing. Different parts of the house are custom built for the different spirits they contain. And since the spirits keep on coming, the construction never ends. But lately there have been signs of a much more sinister intruder. This spirit has a power we've not seen before. Winchester contains plenty of startling moments where something jumps out from behind a door. But other than that, it's probably more comical than creepy. It's a lot of paranormal activity with a gothic makeover. They also borrow from other great films like The Shining, The Exorcist, and Poltergeist. But imitation can also be the sincerest form of failure. It is based on true events and this house really exists. I'd love to watch a documentary on it or even take a tour the next time I'm in San Jose. But the movie itself just frustrates the Lee Moji. May as well watch football. Uh-oh. Lee! I, I, like, I like everything about this house except for this movie. Oh, and, and that's so sad. There's, ne there's never a point that it just captivated you and held you in and you were afraid? <laughs> Not really. Well, like I say, it was kind of funny. There were a lot of people laughing through this thing. I don't think they were supposed to be. But you said that there was a documentary yes, about this? Yes, yeah, I've seen a documentary on it. And there's, I'm it, surprised you even watched with it. With the mansion, <laughs> and there's doors to nowhere. Like, there's stairs uh -huh. that walk up and then just stop. And there's doors that you open and there's nothing behind them. Like, the house is very bizarre. I love a documentary. Without even seeing it, I highly recommend you watch the, the documentary. documentary. <laughs>